What's up, people? Afro Joe here, and I know y'all heard about the story about this girl, Miss Potts, Miss Pot, about her committing suicide after being raped. I understand this happened last year. You gotta understand their family wants to do their little thing. And it's almost it's gonna be a year in September that this girl's death. Um, if you subscribe to me. If you subscribe to me or watch any of my videos, you know I talk, talked about the internet, your smoking gun. I talked about that people posting their business up on Facebook and social media is not the best way to go to on on any levels. That, that teens committing suicide because of. Uh, because of bullying and all this and that but it's got to a point where people are kids are sitting up here raping kids and taking pictures of it and they posting it up on Facebook or Twitter or Tumblr just to make themselves look good and then and then And then this, and it's it's sad. That this happened. This happened last year. This happened before the year was out. And and I'm sitting up here and I think I read the story and I was like, damn, this is fucked up that the 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 girl committed suicide. The victim committed suicide because. And uh, and I, and it's just people. It's just how this is going. It's like the, the parents of the three boys that's been arrested are probably sitting up there. My sons are innocent. My sons are innocent. Your son raped the girl. Then the girl committed suicide, and the parents are sitting there after the parents of the three boys saying that she deserved it not to commit. Well, she don't deserve to commit suicide, but your sons deserve to go to jail for rape and blackmail. Well, actually, look at it like this: she's underage. She's underage. She's a minor. She's been raped. They took pictures of her, and they actually made it where the whole sexting things. They made a law for anybody under the age of 18 or 16, and you have pictures of a minor on your phone or on your tablet. That's considered to have child pornography, so they probably would be charged with. They looked at it as a child pornography, and you heard about me doing the the man of time story. A pedophile took pictures of her showing her boobs on a, a social broadcasting site. And anonymous went and found him, and he's been arrested for having child pornography on his on his computer or phone. But to, but to see that this happened last year is, is something else. That look what's good, like ladies and gentlemen, look what's going on around you. Back when I was in school, that's ten years ago. Ten years ago, when I was in school. We didn't do shit like this. We didn't take pictures of of each other on our cell phone and send it to each other. You know, you know, when you're in high school and all this and that, if you wanted some, you go trying to do your little game to get some, and that's how it was. But to see it now. 
10 years later that you're old enough and you got kids you're seeing these kids are getting raped committing suicide because of what's going on and and it's bad and it's very bad it's very bad because the, the kids are the kids are the kids are like for real man I'm sitting up here more pissed about what what the parents ain't doing see you you can blame the kids because you can blame the kids because the kids are doing these acts but you gotta blame the parents for not teaching these kids from right from wrong and that's how it is your kids are your kids are fucking up more than ever your kids are sitting up there doing these acts so I'm blaming the parents more than I blame the students because the parents are not doing their job they're not really teaching their kids anything all they're doing is they're letting their kids rape rape other kids and post pictures of the rape on Facebook, Twitter or Tumblr and they sit up there and have the audacity oh my kids are innocent your kids took pictures of a girl naked and they raped her how can your kids be innocent if they sit up there and raped a girl and took pictures of her your kids are not innocent your kids are guilty and it's sad to see that these kids are doing this just because they think it's fun they think it's fun they think they think it's fun they think it's fun to do they think it's fun to to uh, do this shit because their parents never taught them anything you can sit there and say, where did I go wrong? Where you go wrong, it was never in your kids' lives. If you're going out of town all the time and your kids are partying, that's you. Your kids are stupid because of you. Your kids are stupid because of you. Because you did not want to teach them anything. And they said that this girl had to die because these boys are stupid and they wasn't raised right. These kids was never raised right. And and it, and it pisses me off that it pisses me off that this happens. It happened in 2012, and it's gotten to a point where, kid, like to me, man, I think the little bastard should be in in prison. Fuck that you in that hall shit, man. If a kid can sit up there and rape, if a kid, if a 16 year old boy can rape a 15 year old girl, that whole damn child, that whole damn, no. Uh, The whole damn uh, juvenile hall goes out the window. The whole damn juvenile hall goes out the window. They, they, they're right there, man. And, and it's funny how, it's not funny, but it's fucked up how, if a grown man rapes a woman, they go to jail, they go to prison for rape. But if it's a child, if it's a child raping a child, oh, they go to juvenile hall. How, how come child? How come when a child rapes a child, it's they go to juvenile hall, but when it's an adult raping a child, oh, they go to prison for rape and child molestation. And I don't think that it should be like that, where a child gets raped by another child, and and. 
and they go to juvenile hall. But it's but it's 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 the fact of the matter is the girl the fact of the matter is they did a hein a heinous act and raped this girl and then took pictures of this girl and posted up on Facebook and then she committed suicide. To me that is And it makes no, it makes no sense on how how this is going on in today's society, and we are like so surprised. <gasps> they raped a girl, and she commits, and they took pictures of the girl, and she, and she commits suicide. Look, man, it happened before. It's the same as cyberbullying, and the same as bullying. Rape is rape, no matter how you see it. Three boys. Let me tell you. I remember there was a story years ago and I actually did a video about it. Five boys raped one girl and 15 people watched this girl get raped. And nobody helped her. Nobody helped her. She was raped in front of 15 people and nobody helped her. And they were still looking for the others that was in on this. But like I said, man, it's messed up that this girl has been raped. Has been raped. Photos of her, pictures of her has been taken and posted up on Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr. Where they could say, well, it was just dope. it was just put up on Facebook, but it can be also on Tumblr and Twitter. You never know because they. Th because kids today think taking pictures of an, of of a crime and posting up on Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr is the best thing is sliced bread. And it's fucked up that these kids are doing this because they want to be cool, they want to be popular, they want to be noticed. Yeah, you're noticed as a as a rapist. You notice as a rapist. Now I have two stories saying I have one story saying from Yahoo saying that the family's gonna sue the three boys for a wrongful death then I have another story talking about how the girl committed suicide after the pictures been posted up on Facebook and and to me that to me, it's like it's, I think that they deserve to go to jail. I think they deserve to be locked away. Because this girl did not deserve to commit suicide or be raped. They could sit there and say, well, she deserved to be raped. Like, a woman can walk down the street, walk down, can be downtown, walk down the street butt ass naked. But it doesn't give anybody the right to rape her. It doesn't give anybody the right to rape her. Those three boys did not have the right to rape this girl. And I think the parents of these three boys should be punished too. Because if your child can sit there and do a heinous act like that, the parents should be charged too. Because they didn't teach their kids well enough. And it's stupid. This girl had to lose her life because three boys wanted to get some booty. Three boys wanted to get some booty, and look at them. And they and they taking it, and they rape, raping kids just because they want some. That's 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 unnecessary. That's stupid. It's dumb, that's fucked up, that's ridiculous, man, and these parents ain't doing nothing but sitting up there bullshitting. They sitting in the, sitting down with the thumb up their asses, ain't teaching their kids what the shit, man, man. Let me tell y'all something, man. It's, today's society, man, the world will eat them up like a fucking, like a fucking piece of chicken. 
they will eat these kids up and spit them out these kids do not know what is out there yet they can sit there oh I walk outside every day and nothing has happened to me wait till you get out there for real wait till you graduate from high school or college man that shit's gonna happen so fast you it will make your fucking head spin and it's unnecessary that this girl had to die because somebody wanted to be wanted wanted some booty and all this and that. That's fucked up. And I'm gonna post both the stories in the description box. And I want y'all to tell me what y'all think. I think the three boys should go to prison instead of juvenile. Huh? If they can rape a child, then they can do. If they can rape a child, their whole child thing. Like that whole, all uh, their minors, no fuck it, that goes out the window. They're adults when they rape somebody. I'm for real. They're adults when they rape somebody. When they, if a 14 year old rapes a damn 9 year old, that whole damn, oh, uh, he's a minor, goes out the fucking window. That whole thing goes out the window. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling like it is, man, because one thing is, it's pissing me off that I'm hearing stories like this every day. And the kids are raping kids and taking pictures and posting up on Facebook. The pictures are trophies to them. Tell them it's like trophies. But like I said, man, this is, it's, it's getting ridiculous that this is happening. Just because they wanted to think they're badass billy guns. Okay. When you put on a uh, orange jumpsuit, I don't think you're badass now. I think you're just a punk ass. This girl lost her life because of three boys. I can sit there and say, oh, how you gonna blame that on three boys? They raped her, humiliated her on social media. <laughs> That's how. That's how. But this is Afro Joe Ten Like Ti is again. I want y'all to tell me what you think in the comment or video response. I'm gonna put the stories in the description box. Both of them. Follow me on Twitter Afro, uh, Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr. Subscribe to my channel CeeLo Junior Two and CeeLo Junior Three. And tell me what you think. Peace, love, and Afro Greece. And parents, grow the fuck up and be a fucking parent. Be a parent. Shit.